students today i am going to revise first of all chapter number 1 the french revolution from history students as you know very well that your periodic second is very near to you and you have to prepare all the points very carefully all right so in chapter number 1 the french revolution the first topic is related to the french revolution in which you have to prepare about the french society during the late 18th century and the outbreak of the revolution and france abolishes monarchy and how becomes a republic and next topic you have to prepare did women have revolution and the abolition of slavery and after that the revolution and everyday life so students in this series first of all i will explain french society during late 18th century all right so students france under monarchy of Bourbon family with Louis XVI as king, and after that, acute shortage of finance due to prolonged wars and extra wagon court, and France was under heavy debt, and king force increased. taxes on the third state and in france that time society based on a state of feudal system was over there all right after that social setup so student different society was divided into three state number first is first stage which is called or known as clergy and they had enjoyed privileges by birth and exempted from paying taxes and extracted or taken taxes called tick and student they are not forced to pay taxes to the government and after that second state was nobility and they had also enjoyed feudal privileges and they have also not forced to pay taxes and whatever taxes taken by the nobility that was called tally understood after that third state in third state businessmen peasants small peasants merchant artisans landless labor court officials and servant and lawyers what categorized and they were all burden of taxes borne by the third state understood after that next topic is the struggle to survive and student in which that time in france population was increasing very rapidly and due to the rapid increase in population the demand for food and grains also increased and uh, wages could not match rising prices it means prices started to rise but wages also started to 
cut out or declined due to the too much problem in the France. And student that time, natural factors also were very strong and due to the drought or hell further made the situation worse. And after that, in France, outbreak the subsistence crisis in the front of the common people, especially, or in front of third state, especially. All right. After that, next topic is growing middle class and demanding end to the privileges. So students, peasants and workers lacked resources to bring change in social and economic order. And after that, responsibility fell on prosperous and educated members of third state. And finally, prosperous middle class emerged or started to develop during the time of French Revolution. And after that, new ideas sprang up and uh, through the emergence of middle class, creation of society based on freedom, equal laws and opportunities to all demanded by the common people or middle class people and stress on division of power within the government because all these things and rights started to demand by the people of France. All right. After that, next topic is the outbreak of the revolution or causes for the outbreak of revolution. So students, Monarch could not impose taxes at his will. He needed approval of State General to pass the proposal. And King called State General to pass tax proposals. And in this reference, voting to be conducted on the basis of one state, one vote. All right. And the third state worked out when the demand of one member, one vote denied. After that, third state met at an indoor tennis court in Versailles and founded National Assembly and draft a constitution for France. So students in severe winter and due to the bad harvest, prices started to rise up. Hoarding of supplies made the situation worse in France. So finally, King order to suppress agitating crowd led to the storming of Bastille on 14th July 1789. All right. And uh, peasants attacked residences of nobles and landlords. After that, Louis XVI sensing the tensed situation recognized National Assembly and accepted his power to be checked by a constitution. Okay? So finally, feudal obligation, taxes, privileges were abolished and land owned by church confiscated or the power of church in which a large area of land owned by church also 
abolished. All right. After that, next one is France becomes a constitutional monarchy. Or drafting of French constitution and completed it was in 1791. So students, according to the French constitution of 1791, power divided among legislature, executive and judiciary. And not all citizens had the right to vote. Declaration of the rights of man and citizen. And duty of state to protect citizens' natural rights given by the new constitution of France to the common people of France. All right. After that, next thing is France abolishes monarchy and becomes a republic. So students, in this topic, first of all, Louis XVI entered into sacred negotiation with Prussia. And neighboring countries got worried about developments in France and said to prevent reforms. And before they could do so, National Assembly voted war against Prussia and Austria and against kings and aristocracies all over the Europe. Okay? And revolutionary wars caused loss and economic difficulties in France. Understood? After that, political clubs sprang up to discuss government policies and plan their actions. Finally, Jacobin club made and grew in popularity and it included less prosperous sections of society and students Maximilian Robespierre led the club or was the leader of Jacobin club after that an insurrection was planned by Jacobins King's palace was stormed and royal guard massacred and king held as hostage. After that, assembly voted to imprison the royal family and held election with men above 21 years enjoying voting rights. Finally, newly elected assembly called convention was set up abolishing monarchy and declaring France as a republic. After some time later, king and the queen were executed. All right. After that, the next topic is the reign of terror, in which Robespierre followed the policy of severe control and eliminated the enemies of a republic. And guilty were gullied. And student, in my previous explanation, I told you about the meaning and definition of convention and gullied. Please learn and read it. All right. After that, next topic is reforms by Robert Pell. 
so students in this series maximum limit set for wages and prices in france and rationing of meat and bread after that peasants to sell grains to government at fixed prices and expensive white flour forbidden use of bread made of whole wheat and french men to be called citoyen instead of monsieur and women to be addressed as citoyenne instead of madam and shutting down of churches and converting them into barracks and offices and whatever policy made by the robbers period that were all too harsh to be followed all right that's why the ruling time of the robbers period is famous in french history as a reign of terror all right after that next topic is a directory rules france and in this topic you will have to learn about the fall of jacobins and jacobins gave way to prosperous middle class to capture power and finally new constitution took away voting rights of non property section of society and state to have to legislative councils which could appoint an executive made up of five members again i am going to repeat state to have two one two legislative councils which would appoint an executive made up of five members all right and it further gave way to napoleon a military dictator to rise all right and we have to prepare and learn all the topics related to the rise of napoleon bonaparte understood next topic is did women have a revolution so students women also actively participated in events that brought important changes in french society and they started to discuss and voice their interest they began their political clubs and newspapers and being disappointed by the constitution of 1791 they demanded a right to vote and elected to assembly and hold public offices finally revolutionary governments took some steps in favor of women and they fixed and compulsory schooling for girls no forced marriages and marriages to be registered also divorce made legal and could be applied for by both men and women and now women could be trained for jobs and run a small business okay after that movement for equal political rights however continued for over next 200 years and it was in 1946 women won right to vote after that next topic is the abolition of slavery 
so students abolition of slave slavery was one of the revolutionary social reform by jacobin clubs and napoleon reintroduced slavery again in 1804 and it was in 1848 when finally slavery was abolished in french colonies all right students i am explaining in very short and only summarize the topics you have to learn very carefully all points all right after that next topic is the revolution and everyday life so students various laws were passed by the revolutionary government to practice liberty and equality in everyday life so censorship was abolished related to the free printing of newspapers and discussion of ideas and policies about the politics or related to the politics etc and freedom of speech and expression became a natural right after that views and ideas traveled widely into the country side and after that plays songs and festive processions that contain ideas like liberty justice and philosophy widely attracted educated people in france okay and after that next topic is rise and fall of napoleon so students napoleon bonaparte crowned himself in 1804 and adopted the policy of conquest and creating new kingdoms initially he was seen as modernizer and liberator of france and he introduced laws like protection of private property uniform system of wages and measures etc later came to be waived as invader and defeated in 1815 at the war of waterloo and his measures were followed long after okay after that the last topic of the french revolution is legacy of french revolution so students ideas propagated by french revolution like liberty and democratic rise were widely popular to europe and colonies got influenced by the idea of freedom and work to get out of foreign captivity and in india too the ideas spread by french revolution became a benchmark to attain freedom from british rule so students here your chapter number 1 and the revision of chapter number 1 is completed now i am going to revise chapter number 2 all right